I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I think I found an easy way, or at least an easier way, to log both POTA and Winter Field Day using the Hammers app in just one log. Let me show you how. First up, open up Hammers and let's get the log set up. So we're going to go to create a new log and we will just say winter field day 2024 test. You can call it whatever you want, but make sure that you select for the template winter field day. There we go. We'll need to fill out some other stuff over here on the right. So let's just say I am going to go one Oscar my grid i'll say i'm at fn 13 power 10 watts because qrp and then for the section i'm in western new york now let's put a couple contacts in here to get this started now the whole premise of this is that you are out doing a parks on the air activation but you're also doing winter field day at the same time you want to have one log this to my knowledge is the easiest workaround I've found that can help accomplish that. So put a couple contacts in here. Let's start with, let's see here, W2BMK. And let's say that they are one hotel, Western New York. Let's just say this is 146.52. Now uh, remember with Winter Field Day, there are some additional objectives and one of which is to try, I think it's six different bands, uh, ultimately multiple bands. So get out there, but don't forget about VHF, UHF, uh, try some additional bands on top of just 20 and 40. So we got the contact filled out and all we need to do is just hit to log it. There we go. Let's get another one um, here, but let's get a contact that may be a POTA park, so a park to park contact. So uh, W2NVP, and let's say that they are one mobile and Western New York. Now, unlike logging the uh, using the POTA template, there's no field here for a park to park. So what we're going to simply do is make a note in the comments and just say something like POTA, Kilo, uh, let's say they're at 6532. Erie Canalway National Heritage Corridor is a very long park in New York. So let's pretend that Michael's there. There we go. Now we got him in the log as well. And I'll show you how we address that park to park issue in just a moment. Let's just add one more call sign. Let's say we get Fred and to RPG. And let's say he is out there. So let's say one Oscar, Western New York. And let's say he's Poda. And we'll say he's at Kilo 6532 also. There we go. We can save that. Now, let's go back to our logbook. Say we're done with Winter Field Day. Now, what we want to do is we want to duplicate this log. So, let's make a copy of it so we don't mess with the original. So, we have our original Win Winter Field Day log for when we do need it. Uh, now, what we're going to do is go over to this copy and let's hit Edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the template. We're going to change it to Parks on the Air. Okay, and let's rename this. Uh, let's put POTA in there so we know that. Okay, here we go. Now this looks familiar if you if you do POTA a lot. Um, but disregard it for now. And uh, what we're going to do here now is go and we're going to hit Duplicate again. But we're going to put in our park number instead. So let's say that I am at Kilo 6532. And instead, let's rename this. So we're going to use the, the typical POTA convention. I don't think it matters anymore now that the self-uploading, but uh, 
let's see here 2024 and then let's put in a date oh 127 there we go okay and here's how we address the park to park so first of all let's go to the first contact and if we look it up you'll notice that it does have my park information in there now that it's been converted into poda and when i duplicated it i put in the park number so it's going to have my park number for all the contacts what it's not going to have is the park information for the others so when you're logging you're probably going to want to keep pen and paper nearby i always do it's easy in case there's an issue especially if you work somebody and they got multiple parks uh, for you or multiple operators sometimes it's easier to write it down and then just put it into hammers after but make a notation of those that you worked park to park and you can see down below it's it's got it in the comments all i got to do is put it in uh, up here for them and so i'll put that in there right there and now it's showing and let's go back to the other one uh because i did that i made that notation for fred as well there we go and now we're all set now we have the logbook we, we updated the park to parks and this is good to go if you went in and you did an export um and be good to go and upload the the one here you can go ahead and just delete and now you got your winter field day log and your poda log it's that simple the, the biggest thing is first of all you can't do this backwards you have to start with a winter field day log template and then you can edit it and then duplicate it for poda you cannot do that the other way around Okay, so don't start with the POTA template, start with the winter field day template, and it'll make it that much easier. The second thing, again, it's 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 something you gotta do on your own. You have to make note of those park to parks, and you can put them in the comments and go through and then manually add, add it to their field after the fact. Um, honestly, this has been the simplest solution I found. You can do something similar, and I have another video on how to do this for soda. Um, it's the best way that there is now that I can find. If you have some suggestions or you know of a better way, uh, leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel. If you got any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 73.